Hello viewers, welcome to Digi Rockstar YouTube channel. So in this video, I will talk about Google's new WordPress plugin for web stories and how to use this plugin. So let's get started. So this plugin comes under the AMP program and you can create web stories for your blog post which will help your site to drive more traffic. So right now this plugin is in the beta. So you can download this plugin from this site. I will leave the link in the description. So click on download the beta and if you want to know more about this plugin then you can check out this site, these two websites. I will leave the link in the description. So let's install this plugin. So to install this plugin we have to go to this plugin and click on add new. And then click on sorry then click on upload plugin so now upload the zip file then click on install now and then click on activate so i have already installed this plugin so let's go to this plugin settings so you will see this stories tab here so let then click on dashboard so under my story you will see all the stories that you have created and you can create a new story by clicking on this button and if you want to use pre-made uh, templates then you can click on explore templates so here we will see some of the templates uh, and we can use this template so let's say i want to use this template so i i have to click on this create a temp create template So here you will see the all the images that you have uploaded on, on your site and if you want to upload any new image then you can click on this upload button and upload a new image. So under text you can add a heading, subheading or body in your uh, story and that's good. This is the basic shapes here so if you want to add any shapes then you can add shapes from here. Now let's create our story. So first we'll give it a title, let's say. So now let's customize our template. So I don't want to use this image, so I can just delete it. I can use this image or any other image that you want. I can either drag it or I can just click on it and then I can drag it from here. And I can resize it. If you have used Canva, then you will find this quite easy to use. The image is perfect. So now let's edit our text. So before I edit, uh, before I edit the text, so on the right hand side you will see the uh, size and position, shape, colors, and all this. You, the alignment of the text and. Uh, the style you see the uh, fonts you can choose your fonts so if you want to keep it bold regular medium whatever you want then you can choose here so this is the font size and uh, you will see the alignment of the text and next is the text one you can change the text color and the opacity of the text Under link here you can add your website URL or if you want to use any affiliate link that then also you can add a affiliate link here. Under documents you will see this draft private public private and all this and you will see the publish date and author and here you have to uh, publish your uh, so you are, here you have to add your website logo and a cover photo. So these are required. And the next one is the permalink. So here you can set a permalink. So now let's design our template. So let's
page about x size say i want Don't want to add this logo and here, so let's delete it. Now I have to add our uh, my blog post URL. So let's go. I can also add a description and my brand logo. So this is all. Now let's save this and click on preview. So now let's click on this text. You will see the URL and then click on this URL. So this will take to my uh, blog post and uh, let's go back and then click on publish so right now it, this is in the beta version so you have to add your stories manually so let's click on add to post so now let's choose use default editor and then search web story we have to add our web story URL so for that we have to go to the plugin settings so let's go back to the our plugin settings so under plugin settings we have to go to these documents then we have to copy this permalink so let's copy this paste here and then click on embed so let's publish this Our web story is published now. So there are some technical guidelines that you have to follow. So here is the list of the technical guidelines from Google for creating a web story. So it should be completeness, affiliate programs, story length, the title length, it should be less than 40 characters, and the text should be less than 200 characters. And if you are adding any video, then it should be less than 15 seconds per page. And the story will appear under the image, Google images, and you will see this icon here. Also, check out my video on how to speed up your WordPress website with using free plugins with 100% GT matrix score. The link will be in the description. So, Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe this channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.